Hello, how you doing? This is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And today, today I was trying to listen to the HF aircraft bands, uh, specifically the commercial aircraft, and see if I could uh, hear what's going on. You know, pick up a little bit of chatter, whatever. But uh, the bands, just after I did my show early this morning about that band, the band went dead, just like somebody had cut my antenna. And I finally looked on the Internet at some uh, HF propagation websites, and sure enough, HF propagation for my area this time of day is pretty poor in those bands. You have to get above oh, 13 megahertz to... Um, to get any good reception according to those websites and you have to treat those with grain of salt so I thought I would get out my book I just got um, I started um, a little venture not too long ago on uh, the raspberry Pi, with the intent of doing some specific projects um, related to Software defined, software defined radio SDR, and I, I really didn't find the information I wanted, and I kind of just put that project aside for a while, and then I, you know, went back and was searching the internet, searching the internet, and I found so many things about the Adreno board, which is kind of a much a, a step down from the other one in that it's not a microcomputer, it's a microcontroller which gives you more detailed control of what you're interfacing with. And like I say, the, the beauty of the Adreno is that I guess it's an older technology but there is so much information about it on the internet. You just you get overwhelmed there's so much. So um, I ordered this book from a library um, because I was looking through all the books and everything and it was like, you know, I need to really not do what I did with the other board which is trying to jump in and find uh, a way of interfacing my software-defined radio with the um, other system, the uh, Raspberry Pi, and this time approach it from the very beginning and not try to skip ahead. You know, I think I think as one of the problems I had with the Raspberry Pi is I I learned the initial stuff and then I wanted to jump way ahead, and it j I failed. I just failed and I was not getting anywhere. So this time. I'm going to start with the Adreno. Now, the Adreno interfaces to the Raspberry Pi. So the two talk together. And like I say, there are tons of information about the Raspberry. I mean, about the, well, about the Raspberry, but a hundred times more information about the Adreno. So I got this book from the library. I reserved it, and it took, oh, about a month for it, me to get down on the list. And they contacted me say, hey, you can pick it up now. So um, I was looking at this the other day, and this is a, to me, this is the kind of book I was looking for for the Raspberry Pi. It takes you through everything from the bare bones, what the thing is, how it's set up, and everything, and gives you lots of illustrations. Now well, here's diagrams. This is actually a wiring diagram. Oh, actually, this is the wire diagram. And there goes my damn weather station. I was trying to stay calm today, but that just set me off. I mean, I have to, I guess I'm going to have to move that weather station into another room. And to, since we're on off track now, the weather station is just a indoor and outdoor thermometer and it's old school it's um, it's it's got a wired outdoor sensor 
And what I do is I run that sensor up into the air vent for the air conditioner. And when the air conditioner doesn't seem like it's working, I can see the temperature that the air conditioner is putting out, which is typically, if it's working good and it's been on for a few minutes, it should be about 50 degrees. And if it's not, which I've had failures in the past, it doesn't get below 70, and there's a problem. So anyway, I digress, or I regress, or whatever. So anyway, I, I found this book to be really good. It's got, you know, like I say, it's got schematics. It's got pictorial diagrams of how do you, you know, plug this thing together, make connections, and lots of information. I mean, just basic information. Now, here's a pretty fancy um, device there. And one of the other things... Speaking of weather station, that I want to do is I also want to um, set it up to, this is the Adreno, to set up the Adreno to monitor temperature. Now, the reason I want to do that is more towards my garden, because it's important to know what the temperature has been in your garden to determine what you need to do for it. So, you, I bought a, I think it was about $4 temperature sensor, which with a couple of wires, you hook it up to the Adreno and with some software that you can get off the internet so you don't have to start from scratch, um, you can monitor and record temperature. And this particular sensor gives you temperature and humidity, which humidity is another important thing to know about when gardening. So that's going to be my first project. It's real simple. Like I say, it's one part uh, besides the Adreno card and then some software. So that's what I'm going to try out. But first, I'm going to go through this entire book before I attempt anything on the Adreno. Now, I did hook up the Adreno and verify that it's working, just so in case there was a problem, I could send it back right away. And uh, the other thing is, for the Adreno, um, since it talks more directly, it's probably not a good term, but it talks more directly with components, you know, uh, thermistors, other components, there's many more components available for it. And... Uh, even this book, like I said, this book has got a lot of examples. Matter of fact, I think I just saw. Oh, did I see it? Did I see it? I think there is. When I was glancing through the table of contents, contents, um, there was. I think there is a chapter on exactly what I want to do. Here it is. Well, this here's a. Building an automated garden. Now, this is act, actually building the sensor on top, the, the circuit. I'm mean, not building the sensor itself, but the circuit that monitors um, a moisture probe, and then it can, can control your water. Now, that would be ideal, but mechanically, that's a lot more work. Um, but not, nothing really in, insanely difficult. One I was looking for, I mean, maybe it's up further. Ooh, I thought I saw it. Wow, why can't I find it? But anyway, um, is this, the simple circuit of a temperature slash humidity monitor. That's the one I want to build. But like I say, this time, I'm going to take my time to read before delving into it and hopefully not get burnt out so fast like I did on the other board and I'm not giving up on the other board it's just I'm I want to take a little slower approach and kind of come in through the front door instead of the back door and um, I've got many other because again there's tons of information I've got many other books uh, mostly ebooks on the Adreno and, and the other card too and um, I might go somewhere with this. I'm hopefully I won't get burnt out like I did with the other card and uh, move forward. And, and again, this is one of those deals where it's just a hobby. 
you know, you can go out and buy exactly uh, what I want to put together. As a matter of fact, I have exactly what I want to put together. It cost over $200. It's a weather station, and uh, it's put out by Ohio Scientific. And within, I would say, two years, all of the outdoor sensors went bad. And to buy the sensors, to buy all the sensors, the wind sensor, the, tem the temperature, the humidity, uh, wind direction, to buy all those sensors is about three times the price of the entire package. But the entire package now is no longer $200. It's like $400. So since it only lasts a couple of years, I don't want to go that route again. So, and there were only specific things I wanted to look at. Wasn't really too concerned about uh, wind and uh, wind direction. Although it's nice to have here in Florida that information. So anyway, I'm going down this pass, path for a while. Going to play with the Adreno. Like I said, I've got the card. I've got the sensor component. And uh, i got the book now. I think this is a pretty good book. And we're going to check it out. So if you have any comments about my little adventure down the Adreno path, uh, please please leave a comment or send me an email at trr73 at gmail.com. I, I, one of the things I don't have that I that you really need, and I just don't have it, is a local person to share your hobby. That I don't have. And I, I think, you know, that's one missing thing that you should always have um, to better enjoy your hobby. And that's why I do some of these shows is I'm kind of trying to be the person next door to help you. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me questions. I get a lot of questions, and I'm, I get really excited about answering questions. I don't necessarily know the 100% correct answer, but I will attempt to give you my answer, and better yet, I will send you some links of where to get a more educated answer. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.